Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Majin Buu Saga Ultimate Gohan. Yeah, my bad. I was just fixing my wire for my mic so I could pull it up a little bit more. But before I go ahead and read Sam's card, go ahead and send me custom cards at bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in your future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Um, so this is the last card that I got sent by Sam in this month. So... After today's card, it's going to be a bunch of cards from different people. I promise. I promise. Hey, but still, you got to give Sam credit where credit's due, man. He sent me a lot of cards um, around the period where I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I wasn't getting sent a bunch of cards. It was just a, a whole lined up stack of cards, like one by one by one by one by Sam. So, hey, shout out, right? Huge shout out. Again, I got to shout out Sam in all these videos. That I he, he basically had like a extra, like a... Big line of cards for me, <laughs> like an extra long line of cards. So, um, there's no uh, message inside the email. So, hey, Sam wants me to just get straight to it. Let's just jump straight into it. All right. So it is a ultimate Gohan. So power unlocked by God. Ultimate Gohan. He is super. In he is a Dokkan fest. To you are. His stats are as shown, and his leader skill is entrusted will. Power of Wishes, 3 key, and won 70% across the board. And his 30% of the stats slash 200% leader skill is 2 Buu Saga or Hybrid Saiyan. So taking a quick peek at this 200% leader skill, you do have this Gohan. You do have Beast Gohan, who is far and away and easily the best character on this 200% leader skill. I mean, Trunks, eh, you can probably do some shenanigans with him. Gohan, for sure, you can run. Um, the, the Buu duo, I mean... Eh, you could probably make some funny shenanigans happen with that character. We do have Tech Ultimate Gohan on this 200% Yusuke, who is going to be a essential option right next to this guy, I like to assume. Um, who else do we have? Uh, I'm pretty sure we have that physical Gotenks. We do. We do have him. I mean, we do have Super Trunks for all my Super Trunks lovers out there. Um, <laughs> and uh, there are probably a couple of options I did glance over. We do have the Super Easy A, uh, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And I probably glanced over another option, but yeah, those are the notable options that I did point out. I mean, is Super Trunks a notable option? That's up to you to decide. Okay, so his super attack effect, he stacks attack and defense, does immense damage, and has a 50% chance to delay enemy action once within the turn. So he does have a good super attack effect. He starts out with three key and a and wait, I was about to say 158, but okay, so it's just three key and 58% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he gets 158% attack and defense when performing a super attack. So nice, he's stacking defense while gaining an attack and defense above when he's performing a super attack in his passive. He also performs a guarantee super when there's another power of wishes category ally attacking in the same turn okay so that should be very easy to get off considering the fact that he leads power of wishes so you just get that power of wishes character right next to him so he does that guarantee super you want that guarantee super out of him so he can stack up his defense right <laughs> assuredly so and he has a 50 percent chance to perform an additional super attack just unrestricted right there and he gets 58 percent attack and defense as well as 58 percent damage reduction as the second or third to attack in turn so he wants to sit inside slot two and he changes tech and physical key spheres to int nice so he's a double orb changer to his specific typing that being int and he gives all allies 58 percent attack and defense self-excluded and he has a 58 no, not a 50 excuse me a 50 percent chance to crit i'm seeing a bunch of 58s all right so it's kind of you know it's kind of messing me up so i'm just gonna reread it real quick he gives all allies 58 percent attack and defense self-excluded and he has a 50 percent chance to crit when collecting eight key spheres and he also gets an additional 20 percent damage reduction and all enemies target this character for one turn when the domain wasteland is active so he has that damage reduction and he gets that all enemies target him for one turn when he activates his domain interesting so i'm gonna assume that that's a separator he has that 20 percent damage reduction while his domain is up and he only gets that um that little all enemies like aggro thing for one turn when uh the domain is up and he gets an additional 58 percent attack and defense for the rest of the battle when this character receives the eighth attack in battle okay so a couple of things, right? A couple of good things about this character. I like the fact that he is a double orb changer specifically to his typing, but the only issue with that is, is that if you're going to be running this guy inside the second slash third slot, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you want him inside the second slot, is that 
what if the orbs change in a certain way where you can't avoid getting the key spheres to give this gohan those int key spheres that can probably like create a little bit of a and like a little bit of an odd scenario but i do like the fact that this guy does i like that he is getting an attack defensive buff and is passive on super and i like that he's stacking so that's one thing i do like about this card i like the fact that he can get two plus supers out of his passive he gets one guaranteed one as well as one 50 chance to launch additional super i do like that considering the fact that he is a stacker i also like the fact that he does get to a high amount of damage reduction he can get up to 78 percent damage reduction provided you do activate his uh his what says his domain that being the wasteland i do like the fact that this guy of course with his double orb changing he could support the entire rotation with 58 percent attack and defense as well as give him a cherry on top that being a 50 percent chance to crit and i think that is about it he also has a little all enemies like aggro him but with that up he's just not taking he's not taking damage um, well maybe that damage reduction is only for that one turn yeah it is only for that one turn it says and all enemies attack for one turn yeah okay so I, I did get that wrong excuse me sam uh so yeah 78 percent damage reduction as well as all enemies attack him means that he's going to be protecting that turn he's going to be protecting the the characters on our rotation for one turn sort of like um this guy right over here i do like that he's doing something similar to what this guy is doing um we all know how powerful this guy's aggro is so this guy getting that similar treatment is nice so he is a support type unit he has crit chance he has a little attack little aggro thing he is a double orb changer to his specific typing um two additional well he has one additional super attack chance with a guarantee super um built into his uh kit but um i mean he's looking good he also has a 50 percent chance to uh, delay enemy action yeah so he's looking good absolutely and of course he has the uh, the extra ability in his passive where he gets 58 percent attack and defense the rest of the battle when he takes the attack in battle he's looking nice um the only thing is is that him being a character that wants to sit inside the second slot it could create a bit of a funky issue where this character can not get his key spheres because of course you have one character sitting in the first slot what if the orbs are created in sort of a weird way where the first character in the first slot has to collect his same key spheres to be able to get to this guy to collect his own key spheres yeah, it could be a little bit funky, but outside of that, um, I like the design. Yeah. Is eight key spheres a bit much? Eight key spheres for an all ally support of 58% attack and defense, as well as a 50% chance to crit. Maybe eight key spheres is a little steep. Maybe it's a little steep. I think, I think six key spheres or seven, if we just meet in the middle, six or seven is a little fair. Um, it is a, uh, and the activation condition for his domain wasteland is third turn from start of battle. Okay. Um, very easy domain to get off. Very very easy. Um, he just you could just carry that throughout the rest of the battle, and then pop it whenever you're ready. And the domain wasteland you give power wishes category allies and enemies twenty percent attack and defense, and increased damage received by extreme class allies by ten. Oh, allies and enemies by ten percent. He's on a just mega live amount of categories. God damn. And his links are Fierce Battle, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Power Bestowed by God, The Saiyan Lineage, Brainiacs, and Cold Judgment. Hmm. Doesn't Ultimate Gohan have shocking speed? Can I grab you up for a second? Just to use you as an example. Don't you have... You do. What is shocking speed an infighter? What is that replacing? It's replacing power bestowed by God. No, power bestowed by God is still there. Excuse me. Um, you still have Brainiacs in this? You don't. Yeah. Shocking speed is replacing Brainiacs. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think that is about it. Um, W card. Um, would I change anything about this card? Um, the only thing I'd probably change is lowering this from eight key spheres to six or seven. Seven, seven is probably fair, maybe six or seven, because eight is a bit steep. I'll probably say it's a bit steep, but I would say I like the design. Yeah, 
I like that he has a little attack aggro thing built into him, similar to Beast Gohan, being able to get up to 78% damage reduction and save the entire rotation. I do like the fact that he's getting attack defensive buff when he's performing a super attack in his passive while he's stacking attack and defense, and having a 50% chance to uh, delay enemy action within, once within the turn. I do like the fact that he is a support type unit. I like the fact that he is... He has guarantee super built into him, which is an easy condition considering the fact that he is supporting the category that you want the character right next to you to get that condition off, as well as him having additional super attack chance. I like the design. All in all. <laughs> I do. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the near future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Uh, we are making some really good progress. I was looking at the email before I started recording. We're making very good progress. Absolutely. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching again. I'll catch you guys next video again. <laughs> I love you all. Peace.